Send me your submissions, I'll rate your gameplay. If you take a bus and you get F's all day, I really want to rate gameplay with you. Please like and subscribe for your boy. Subscribe for your boy. Yeah! Rate my gameplay episode 150. I can't believe we've got here against all bloody odds. Uh, so we have a special episode featuring Andy Nomus, potentially the most creative person in this community. We'll get to that in a second, but first, considering it's 150, I was just thinking back and I thought, when did this series actually start? This series started on the 5th of December, 2022. So almost two years this series has been going. Uh, and it started because I must have had probably 50 subs at the time. And my real life friend, Jordan, shout out to him. He was playing SAP because he'd heard about it through me and our other friend. And he was like, why don't you do a series where you react to people's gameplay? And I was like, that's genius. Let's do it. And that opening clip where I say WTF, that came from his original episode one. Uh, and it was real humble beginnings, man. Like he sent me a clip and it was one, him getting a win on Turtle Pack and then him starting another run. And it was just awful. And I was just like, what the hell is going on? Uh, and that was episode one. And now we come forward to episode 150. We have all like this. We have returned viewers. We have inside jokes. It's just become this thing. And I hope, uh, I know for me personally, like when I look back on SAP in 10 years, right, my gameplay will be like a core flashbolt memory of mine. And I hope it's the same for you. Uh, I've spent a lot of time on this channel recently, like <laughs> talking crap to audience members and being a bit sassy. Uh, but please know that sincerely, I'm thankful. And uh, I can't believe you made it to 150. So what are we doing for episode 150? It's a long one. I suggest you take a moment right now. Pause, get yourself a drink or a nice little snack and let's enjoy the moment together. Andy Nomus. Andy Nomus. If you know him, you're like, oh my God, we're going to say something right now. If you don't know him, uh, he every time he sends something to me, it's mind blowing, including what I consider to be the best run ever. Here's what he said for this one. Hello, my longtime content creator of the channel because all this content goes on my channel. <laughs> so there is a pet that hasn't seen much of the spotlight yet, but I will try to change that. I had a few ideas that goes beyond only one run. So originally he sent me the run and then he's like, I've got a few more ideas. And I was like, yo, mega episode for 150, perfect. I have been playing with the pet some time now and some players might've seen my team in customs. Either way, I haven't seen much like my runs, but maybe before this release, it's more of a common knowledge. Anyway, I hope you enjoy and maybe use some of the things from my video in the future. With lots of love, Andy Nomus, the unsung hero. I don't know if he's calling himself the unsung hero or the pet, but either way, we're off and running. I have no idea what the pet is. Um, we'll see. We see, by the way, I haven't uh, commented too much here. We have um, the Avengers. <laughs> I'm just joking. It's um, Flash and Superman and... AI, um, was gonna make a Zionist joke, I'll just, I'll be, um, PG, it's Gal Gadot, Batman, Aquaman, Robin in the background, Aquaman again, Robin comes to the forefront, okay, it's Pink Robin, <laughs> okay, the pet we are focusing on today is Pink Robin, I'm gonna try to make an effort in my videos to show the abilities more, but Pink Robin, I don't know if he's going to show it. Wait, this was not my intended run, but... Oh, he's got the turn one tier two. Look at that. The fish. You skipped the... You skipped the robin. You took the frigate bird. You had it. All right, anyway. I'm going to try to be more clear about pet opinions. Or pet abilities. Pink robin, when it faints, it activates the end turn ability of a friend. So it's one of those pets that can work in the shop or in battle. And what is an end turn ability? Something like a baboon. You know, you press end turn. We're about to see it down the bottom right. A little tip for some money tempo. Ah, smart. 
rice, free rice in shop. He, he's, this is great. We've got some running commentary down the bottom. Um, what was I saying? I've been so serious to start this episode. I'm, uh, this is business rev from episode 151. I'll start wearing, episode 151, I'll start wearing a suit. Um, 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 what was I saying? Oh yeah, when you press and turn like that, whenever a pet has an ability, like a hatching chick or a bloody baboon, the robin can make that happen by peeling it in shop or by fainting in battle. Um, we're moving fast. So I think he's he's condensed the three runs in tw into 20 minutes, which is about perfect in my humble opinion. Uh, and grounded zap, this speed would make him mad. Elk? That would have made grounded mad as well. As well. <laughs> okay, so you are um, interesting. Frigate bird. I said earlier that Robin is a pet you can use in battle or in shop. Frigate bird, you don't... In fact, you never see it used in shop. Really, this is... Th this man... He just, like... How do I explain it? There are certain people that just look at the game in a way that you wouldn't... And you got Tabby Cat synergy as well. So you're getting the sell value of the rice plus the free tempo from the Tau Cat's gone. Unicorn. Yeah, this makes sense. And you're going to buff your Frigate Bird here. Okay. Now, where does the Pink Robin come in? I mean, we're moving fast. Things are... Things are... Uh, um, and such. Okay, so it's now a perk line. Pergolated coffee. You know, this is called singularity and the um, um, spiritual business. It's my side hustle. <laughs> okay, so the frigate, this is basically like a buy sell build with a frigate bird of all things. And you, you're tying in the buy sell with the perk line. Stinky sock. Me after. Uh, so this is this is literally me after I go to the gym. I think that was a bad hit. It, things are it, things are moving fast. I think that was a bad hit from the bat. But yeah, look at this break point. Beautiful. God, we're moving fast. Tofu. I still I gotta put tofu in my pack. And so I had no idea if Tiger would work. Did it not? Things are moving fast. Yo, it didn't. Okay, fair enough. You verse a hippogriff right there. Shout out to the uh, hippogriff um, aficionado. Yes, yeah, so you're perk lining. So my my elephant seal build went up yesterday. Some rare elephant seal tech. If you haven't seen it, you're also elephant build teching. And that melon armor on that bloody bush is doing tremendous things. Sentences you'd only hear in Super Auto Pets. Okay, so you're going to get double triggers from this elephant seal, right? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I kind of forgot you were doing Robin things. It's going to activate the end turn ability. Oh, bush is end turn ability. Okay, we're going to... Wait. I don't know if you slow it down. I'm going to half speed for this. So it's going to... Yep. So you get elephant seal buff number one. Yep. The axolotl buffs it. You're then going to have your pink robin faint. It only needs to be level one because this is a tier one or two. And then it's gonna activate it again. Incredible death touch, psych, it's dead. Oh, it's so cool, man. Okay, we can stop the half speed. It's funny, like when I saw the pink robin come in, I was like, that's funky. And then I just couldn't be bothered searching through everything to see what is an end turn ability. <laughs> <laughs> and grounded, grounded did Pink Robin with Leviathan and Deer Lord of all things. Um, but now you found some. It's a, it's more Hippogriff action. Secret achievement. The secret, secret, secret source. 
the math is good. Once again, melon on your bush. Uh, take if you if you have your a notepad out, take that down. You got a melon your bush. Yeah. Really smart. This is a cool way to scale, and you hit your level three. So you're guaranteed two triggers on the elephant seal, and the elephant seal is being scaled. It's genius. It'd be funny if the other team had ah sugar sixty nine use gumbag. Everyone cringe at, su at sugar sixty nine. This is so 2022. This was a thing before this series started, in fact. Okay, so this is... Are you going to get here? No, you're not, of course. Shame on you, Sugar69. You are no longer a friend of the channel. You were once well-respected, and now you're buffing. <gasps> the secret sauce. The wall chicken. It's another trigger. You get three triggers this round. Why well, you gotta rain on my parade, Andy Domus, right after I make a great one? Ooh, Frodo Bagpipes, well-respected member of the community. It's scaling versus summons and sniping. I think you're gonna lose, Andy. I think you're gonna lose. I think you're gonna lose. I think you're gonna lose. You are. Yeah, you're totally gonna lose. Respect to Frodo Bagpipes, I guess. Too bad we didn't get the 10, but really fun run. I agree. I agree. One down, two to go. <laughs> Pretty basic start. Nothing really happening here. I'm worried I've missed some of your typing down the bottom, Andy. You've also a two squad on turn one that gets the job done. <laughs> I'm kind of... Every time I watch your videos, Andy, it's the same feeling. Incredible excitement. Like, this is a, this is a special moment. And also, I'm really scared. I'm terrified. I'm quaking in my boots, I am. The proverbial boots, of course. Who wears boots? Congratulations. That person, Briadra, I have faced a lot recently. Good commentary, ref. Yep, you can appeal your sturgeon. Here comes the Robin. Enturn ability. None of the pets on the field have an enturn ability. Okay, you're looking to level it, which means you're going to use it in synergy with a tier 3 or up. I feel very focused. I feel very engaged. I feel aligned with the stars, the moon, the universe. The moon is a star, Reverend. I knew that. I'm logged in. Grateful Joey, friend of the channel. Galad is not end turn. If you like feeding galadas and getting, there's a good there's a good way to finish that joke. It's not, it's, today's not my day. Manta ray is that in turn? Panda. Oh, manta ray is in turn. <laughs> okay, wait. Let's just. Let's just pause as the lasagna breaks, unfortunate. In real life, great and super auto pets. Everybody watching right now, except for Grounded Sap, is like, wow. Pink Robin Manta Ray? Haven't thought of that. And Grounded Sap, like, the second that he saw that it was um, Pink Robin, he, like, pulled out his, like, <sighs> he's got, like, a big, like, massive book, this big, <sighs> Flip to P, because he's, he's sorted by alphabetical order. Pink Robin, and there's like a page this big of all the synergies. And he's like, oh yeah, I didn't have I didn't get to that one yet. My backlog's 98 videos. Um But the rest of us, like, what the hell? You're gonna Okay, yep, we're panda buffing. Very naughty. Yo, Pink Robin Manta Ray. So you've showed us a rare premium sort of buy sell into the perk line and now you're showing us a rare four squad i feel i feel i feel a little bit jealous if i'm being honest andy like i didn't uh, i didn't think of this you're gonna sell cow you're going for you sell the monkey oh my god he's a genius he's a genius 
Okay. You, I'm sure you know what's about to happen, but Egyptian Vulture is going to get huge, and when it gets a knockout, it's going to tr trigger the Pink Robin. And when the Pink Robin dies, it's going to trigger the Pink Robin. So let's see how much gold we're getting. It's only a level 1 Manta Ray. Imagine level 3. Naughty, naughty, naughty. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? <laughs> Great draw. That was John Bear, friend of the channel. In many ways, John Bear, John Bear is like my dad. <clears throat> Not like similar to my real life dad, like actually my dad. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so now you're going to get two triggers, assuming you get two knockouts. Well, pay attention. How much gold is Andy Nomis going to start the next round with? It's a large lobter. You will lose this round. You start this round with... <laughs> That's not right, man. That is not right. That is not right. The setup wasn't that insane either. Like, I feel like this is repeatable. 26 gold, man. Oh, it's not even putting like a one up on the Robin or, oh my God. He's, he's just playing a different game. Like, look at all this. He hasn't even got to... Now he's at the... Now he's at 10 gold. And he's going to buff the Vulture to the point where he doesn't even need the Panda. He can, he can bring in another unit. Oh. It's level 3. He's going to have 30 gold. Yep, you're gold hacking. Oh, so now you don't even need... You can just run a 5 squad, because the Manta Ray... Oh my god. I feel sick. They're going to snipe you, Robin? They don't. I feel like you got the perfect hits, Andy. Oh my god. I... I'm like at a loss for words almost. Wait, how much gold did you start with? 28. <laughs> like when I when I think of a build that is like I haven't seen before, I get like incredibly like I feel proud, you know, like damn, I really cooked with this one. And then while that's happening, Andy's in the background just with like 16 of the most creative builds ever ready to go. And if someone else has done this, I apologize, but I haven't seen it. Pink Robin Manta Ray! So you're gonna have a 50 50. <sighs> now you get 30 gold. Oh my god. 28 gold. And a sauropod. <laughs> you're buffing the Pink Robin. Do you have, I'm sure you have mushroom in your pack, or maybe you don't, and you're looking for it with cornucopia. You now can get 30 gold. Pancakes just because, reset. <laughs> I haven't been paying attention, is, is mushroom in your pack? Oh, this is sickening. Like, this is so good that it's making me question myself. Shout out Nerd Birdo, friend of the channel. Did you think of this build, Nerd, Nerd Birdo? You have 30 gold. Oh, you have 30 gold. <laughs> I've got to be better, bro. Like, this isn't about me, but my brain is like... Oh my god, Andy. <laughs> Insane, man. There's still another run. Like, how many of you are sitting there like, I wonder if I run Egyptian Vulture Pink Robin Manta Ray and start every turn with 30 gold. Brahma Chicken? Crazy. 
<laughs> oh, it's wild. I mean, there's still there's still four wins to go. Where is his team gonna end up? <sighs> I gotta compose myself. I gotta breathe. Take a breath. I might, I honestly, I'm gonna do ten push-ups just to like ground myself. Sometimes you just gotta hit the reset. So he doesn't have mushroom in his back, I think we can all confidently assume. He doesn't even need it at this point because he's hitting 30 anyway. You roll down a pizza of immortality. I haven't been paying attention to how many you bought. I'm anxious. What's the next one gonna be? <laughs> uh, nice team job, Brennan. You get destroyed. That's one. That's two, that's three, and the pink robin faints. <laughs> Here I plan to try lioness. Oh, lioness is turn. Oh my god. You're just flexing. Okay, you've bought a lot of peaches. The panda's gone. The lioness doesn't... Globe Gamer, friend of the channel. Oh, you'd have to... Pink Robin Lioness, you'd have to level the Pink Robin, right? You now have a 50-50... Okay, yep, fair enough. <laughs> what else are you gonna do? Uh, more Ellie Blowfishes? More cringe, not friends of the channel. So you're looking for the level 3 pink robin, and I'm guessing you're not going to get it. Okay, I can't see. I'm going to try to get the pause. Oh, you've bought 20? You've bought 21 pages of immortality? And you do get the level. Okay, so you could, like, pretty much get a 50 50 shot. If you face the right opponent, right? Oh my god. Oh, that is disgusting. Oh, your pink robin didn't die. No, that definitely worked. It was triggering. Okay, we didn't even get to see your shop. Oh, shop scaling. Oh my god. There's still one more. Breathe, Reverend. Compose yourself. <sighs> For reference, let's do some summoning, leveling, and scaling. I've been up since like 4 or 4.30 a.m. It is now... 3.15 a.m. I thought I'd give my last oomph. Oomph. You have a back end. Of my last... Oomph of energy, you know? Like, just to get this recording done, and now I feel sick. I'm guessing based on that positioning, you're looking for snail? No. You just wanted to lose to make the battle go longer, I guess. Pink Robin, nothing to synergize with here. <sighs> Business rev, focus. The people come to you for uh, insanely accurate takes and um, at your advanced, nuanced knowledge of the game. So let's give it to them. General Danger, incredible name. Can we just highlight the name General Danger? <laughs> Fantastic, brilliant. Rock and Robin, tweet, twiddly tweet. Sea Lion, wait, Sea Lion's end, end turn. Oh, I feel sick. Mm hmm. Anteater, because why not? Free tempo, you can peel it next round. Best skin avocado, kind of, in many ways, things and such. You take the L. Is that your plan, sea lion? I'm scared. Weasel is end turn. It is. Weasel's end turn. So you should have... Oh, 
Oh my god, your weasel and didn't even die. Weasel's not in turn? I can't even think right now. Get Manta Ray again? That's very unfortunate. <laughs> Isn't Weasel in turn? As soon as you press in turn? Okay, it's Leviathan. Okay, fantastic. We can just end on the Scumlord build. I just spilled coffee on my weird white placemat almost that my dad uses on his desk. I'm actually not on a desk. I'm on like a slatted table um, that is functioning uh, as a desk in many respects. Okay, unlucky once again. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Manta Ray's gone. Team Spirit. Okay, this is, uh... Um... Yep. Why don't you put your Pink Robin to the front? You do. Parrot copying Team Spirit makes total sense. My wife is knocking, therefore I am a pausing. Okay, we're finishing the video with Leif. Um, someone told me that you shouldn't show babies on the internet and while that may be true I'm pretty confident my fan base aren't sick freaks <laughs> um, I, I had some time to reflect right there I want to say this as someone who spends a lot of their time on super auto pets trying to think of like stupid or unused synergies this video has like blown my mind and uh, I'm happy I'm sad I'm concerned I'm like just generally mind blown. This is what Andy Nomis does, man. He wakes up and he's like, how can I totally shatter people's worldviews today? And and make them realize that everything they've known is a lie. Uh, that's where that's what we've done. <laughs> that's what he's done today, so <laughs> I hope you've all enjoyed the show as uh, we face Peanut Butter Boy. Um you know, Battle of the Scum, as far as I'm concerned, Leviathan versus Spinosaurus Turkey. Uh, but the scum that is on our screen and we're supporting wins, so good job, Andy. Leith, uh, one day Leith will comprehend what's happening on the screen. Right now he sees blurry colours. Don't you, little man, huh? I'm just gonna like, uh... How how's Leith looking? Is he relaxed? He's just moving from um, formula to like milk to solids and he's just played with a banana in the backyard with my wife. And let me tell you, this man, uh, I don't think he ate the banana, I think he just punched it aggressively in the face. Nice build, Blake. It's a shame we're running Leviathan and we win. <laughs> Wait, I, I want to check Lathe cam. He's very intrigued by the microphone. He's intrigued by a lot of things, this guy. Especially, how can I um, wake my dad up at 4 a.m. and um, then ensure that he doesn't get back to sleep until the point where he's fully awake and then I'll go to sleep. Parrot got the trigger. Wait, I didn't see what you did. Ah. Oh. Could be a fun interaction. Yeah, you got me thinking, dude. I gotta go through all the pets and figure out what end turn shenanigans I can get up to. What have you left on the table for us, Andy? Having fun, little man? Yep, dribbling all over, yep. Lathe. Andy Nomis, elite sat player. Lathe, elite dribbler on clothing. <laughs> Yeah, this is called Super Auto Beds, little man. Daddy's easily top 80 in the world. Congratulations, Andy. Um, for the sake of time and being a father, we are coming to... Oh, wait, let's look at my videos real quick. Chronic History, uh, Suits Clip, Guess a Comedian, Crop, Super Auto Gaming, How to Beat Every Death Game in Squid Game. The story of Port Adelaide 2022, 2023 season. Not my best recommendations. Andy. It's pretty simple. It just like, it has to be A plus, A plus, A plus, A plus. Um, my head hurts. And if you make my head hurt, I'll give you an F or an A plus, depending on the context. 
Uh, and to everyone watching, 150 episodes, like, this is... It probably is the most community-driven series or content that uh, exists in the Super Auto Pet space. Yeah. And uh, even though I'm the one that, like, brings it to you, you're actually the ones that make it happen. So, I love all of you. I'm thankful, dude. Uh, I guess we just march on now to 200. We keep enjoying it. And I make sure you show love to each other and to... Andy Novice in the comment section. Thanks for everything, people. See you in episode 151.